Okay, so this is Justin for the third video. In this one I'll be talking about the uh, time manager as well as the scene uh, management. So first, just a quick scroll through of the uh, time manager here. Um, so of course it has the get game time, get frame time, and an update uh, public functions. Um, it has, of course, the uh, setup for the singleton, an instance, and the variables that go along with it. Um, here in the update, it basically sets uh, the, the total time and the frame time, as well as it calls the uh, freeze uh, function. So I can just show that that's working real quick. So if I hit F10, uh, it freezes everything, and then hitting F9 just skips it one frame at a time, and then I hit F10 again, and it goes back. Um, so that's looking good. Um, and then, like I said, the get game time and get frame time. Um, and then I'll just quickly go through the freeze time because you gave it to us. But uh, so this is the freeze time header file, um, as well as the get time in seconds, wait and return frozen time, and the hacky um, loop, uh, endless loop here for the um, for the wait function. Um, so that's that for the uh, time. Uh, manager stuff. Um, next up was the um, scene, uh, all the stuff associated with scene management. Um, so we'll go ahead and show the full header file first. Um, it has the initialize, update, draw, terminate, and end scene functions. Uh, of course it's set up as the singleton here um, with a current scene pointer. And then here in the CPP, uh, it's got, it creates a new null scene uh, right at the start. So I believe that was called an anti-pattern, um, but we talked about it briefly. So it just creates this null scene here first and then immediately switches uh, to the user scene right here, uh, right when the game starts up. Um, so that does that. Uh, in the, uh, so I need to go through this more. Uh, so, anyways, the initialize, the set active scene uh, ends the scene before it, before it uh, creates uh, this, or sorry, sets the active scene and then initializes the scene. Um, the terminate function, of course, uh, and then getters for, oh, I'm sorry, get active scene, um, and update, draw, and end scene. So, next. Uh, was the scene itself, uh, which is has lots of friend classes. Um, so it's pretty much the central point of everything. But anyways, um, it's got the initialize scene, update, draw, and end, uh, just like we saw before. Um, it also is able to get the broker um, and the collision manager. Uh, so it has the register functions for all the different bubbles. It has the process uh, function for all of the different owls. It has the deregister for all the owls. And then, of course, it contains the pointers to all of the different managers. Uh, lastly, there was just the uh, scene broker here, which um, executes the commands of uh, all the different owls that are coming through um, and just contains all of those uh, in that. Uh, let me just make sure I got through everything. Um, scene ending, it has that. Scene initialization, it has that. Update, draw. Um, pass through for registration, it has that. Uh, sets collision tests. Um, get it set, destructor. Uh, and then I'll just show the user scene real quick that all of that works. Um, so in the initialize scene is where it basically creates all of the objects um, and then sets up the collision. Uh, lastly, it initializes the camera. Um, in the update scene, it's just uh, updating the god cam. The draw scene, it just visualizes the visualizer if the user so chooses to have that. And then the end scene, of course, it cleans up all of the uh, objects for the pointers. Um, other than that, uh, I do believe that that is everything with that. Just make sure. Yep.
uh, looks good. Cool. Awesome. Thank you.